I happen to have just returned from Greensboro, North Carolina, a small but famous town. Uh, in 1960, four students from a black college in Greensboro decided to sit in at a restaurant in a Woolworth store. Uh, they were arrested uh, harshly. Uh, their others replaced them. Uh, their courage uh, lit a spark uh, unexpectedly and helped inspire a mass popular movement that brought uh, quite significant changes to American society. Uh, now the store is uh, uh, one of the main civil rights museums in the country. Uh, it's not the only case. If the tinder is ready, a spark can set off a conflagration. And that's what happened with the Occupy movement. It burst forth uh, last September, suddenly, and unexpectedly, and very quickly spread, uh, to everyone's surprise, uh, quickly to thousands of communities in the United States, uh, many abroad, uh, all over the world. Uh, the tinder was certainly ready after more than 30 years of neoliberal assault uh, against the populations of the world uh, with harmful and often devastating uh, impacts uh, almost everywhere. And there have, of course, been reactions. Uh, some of the most important were in South America in the past decade. Uh, South America has largely broken free uh, uh, in, in the past decade. Uh, that's uh, after uh, 500 years of subordination to foreign forces in the last century or so, mostly the United States. Uh, the Arab Spring, which is still a work in process, uh, is driven in part by um, similar concerns. There are militant and dedicated student strikes uh, in many places in the Western Hemisphere from Chile to Quebec. Uh, in Europe, the uh, resistance to the destructive austerity programs of the past few years is widespread and growing, and there's a great deal more. Uh, with regard to the Occupy movement, in a few short months, it has really registered quite uh, remarkable achievements. Uh, the movements have brought fundamental issues to the forefront of concern, issues that had been festering in the margins for a long time. Uh, quite a range of constructive programs have been formulated and implemented to varying degrees. Uh, and uh, beyond the policy domain, another major achievement of the movements has been t simply to create uh, communities of uh, mutual aid, uh, solidarity, cooperation, uh, with spaces for free and open uh, interchange and discussion. Uh, that's something highly significant and sorely lacking in our increasingly atomized societies. Of course, achievements like these quickly elicit repression. Uh, power does not simply disappear in the face of challenges. Uh, there are substantial barriers to moving forward. If these can be overcome, if the movements can deepen their roots in the society and draw in much larger sectors, uh, the uh, long-term impact could be of historic significance. It won't be any easy task, uh, but nothing worth doing ever is.